For my final year of university, I decided to commit to getting good grades. I had always gotten good grades in high school, but in university, I decided to prioritize extracurricular activities and jobs and social life, basically everything except academics. <laughs> but it got to the point where my grades were making me really question was I just being lazy or was I not smart enough? Probably pretty sadly, the answer was I was just being lazy. <laughs> Hi, this is Vanessa Raquel. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe if you're interested in this video and in this channel. So I wanna preface this by saying, if you're a student watching this hoping to get some tips, of course, in the year of COVID, things are going to be very different. So you may just wanna give yourself a break this year and just do your best. But this also might be a unique opportunity where not much else is going on to dedicate time to your grades. It really just comes down to commitment. So these are the five tips I have to help you get to Dean's List for the first time ever. Number one, truly commit to doing well in school. This is probably the most important of all of them. If you don't care, you're not going to do it. You need to really, really commit to the goal. Getting onto Dean's List requires an incredible amount of consistency. On that night where you're tired or on that night where there's something else exciting to do, if you just give up sometimes throughout the year, the overall number is not gonna be what you're hoping it will be. Number two. Go to class, pay attention, and participate. This one's probably pretty obvious, but if you're actually going to the lectures where your content is based off of, it's gonna make a really big difference. And while you're there, you really need to be channeling your inner Hermione Granger and participating. I wanna see you in the front row. I wanna see your hand up. I wanna see you asking questions the second you're confused. I wanna see you clarifying things. I wanna see you helping other people. Your teacher should know who you are, even if there's a thousand people in the room. Being in class is not only gonna help you with the content, but it's also gonna help you learn more about tips for the test, an opportunity for a bonus mark, notice that something got moved or changed live, and you'll also meet the other people who are in the class, which is going to be really important later on. Number three, aim for 100% on every single thing you hand in and hand in every single thing. The mentality about aiming for 100% is if you aim for 100 and you mess up a little, you get an 80. What I did for a lot of my undergraduate degree was I aimed just to pass, which means I didn't give myself a lot of wiggle room and if I didn't hit the mark, I would just fail. And in terms of content, if you're not handing in all the deliverables, all the labs, all the bonus assignments, all the quizzes, you're literally just giving away free marks and you're also limiting your total overall amount because if you you don't ever do a single one of those 20% quizzes, then the maximum you can only get is an 80% if you get a hundred on every single thing, which is really challenging. And I will note, I did engineering and business in university. Sometimes the content is really challenging and requires way more work than other courses. But theoretically, these courses are not designed to make you fail in theory. So you really got to give it your all. And if you're in one of those courses where everyone gets a 30% on everything because the teacher is unique, then be that one kid who gets the 40%. Number four, stay organized and be on top of your deadlines. This one is critical. The year I was doing this, I was overloading my courses. So I had seven engineering classes per semester. If I were to be confused about a single deadline and misprioritize my week, I would be in some deep crap. So I have two specific ways that I recommend you do this. The first one is something called iStudies Pro. A friend of mine who's always been a straight A student uses this program and she was the one who recommended it to me. And she was in history compared to engineering, which means that the grading is way more subjective relative to black and white for math quizzes. And she still got an A. <laughs> there might be other programs like this out there, but this one I use religiously and highly recommend. And this is not a sponsor. It costs $15. It was available on your desktop. And it would basically just help you track every single thing that was due for every different course that you have. And then there were all these views that would help you look at everything in a calendar view to help you prioritize. The second is a physical planner agenda or journal. I still have mine. Now you don't need to be as intense as I was here, and I'm sure one day I'll make a video about bullet journaling, but things like creating a weekly calendar and noting what you need to do for each of your classes, things like having your class schedule directly in front of you and available so you know when your classes are, and things like a monthly view that help you track every single thing together so you can also integrate your personal life into this and other events happening. This will save your life. And number five, Find study buddies, because school is a team sport. I had the pleasure of living with people that were in the vast majority of my classes, so we could just go down to the kitchen and study together. And we were in like every single project together and extracurriculars together. We spent a lot of time together. <laughs> but helping each other study, paying attention in class, covering each other when you miss things, that is so, so, so important. The following are real life screenshots of my transcript. I went from failing to this many A pluses. It is all a mental game. You have to commit, you have to try really hard, but you can do it, it's not too late. In between these two semesters, I left for internship because I was so low mentally and really just needed some time to recharge after some really traumatic events that happened in my life. But when I got back, I was mentally where I needed to be to give it my all. And I was so honored to get onto the Dean's Honor List for the first time ever. 
And if you want to look cute while doing all this, you can check out School's Out Earrings. These are a pair of Alex's Rainbow Pride collection, which of course I like. <laughs> but you can check her out on Etsy. She makes a variety of types of earrings for all different themes. She not only makes earrings, but she also makes wall hangings. And she features collections that donate to local charities. So definitely go check her out and support her so her page can grow and feature even more organizations. And she's a super cool person, so definitely make sure to check it out. And with that, I will wish you a great academic year, wish you the best luck from the bottom of my heart, and encourage you to just keep trying. This is Vanessa Raquel. All the best. Bye!